The order screen grid itself can be customized and preferences can be saved to the user profiles discussed in previous clips. Similar to the work in progress screen, it's possible to control the column width and position. Changes can be made to line items by right clicking certain fields. For individual labor items, the rate can be changed to a different value found under the type button and sourced from the master labor rate table. Description can be edited. Tech name can be changed to a different technician, all without having to open the labor item edit window. For part items, the description can be edited. Right click on price allows it to be changed. For sublet, the description and cost fields can be changed. If cost is changed, the program will recalculate the sublet sale price. The next logical step is always in plain view in the lower left corner. If currently an estimate, it will read convert to RO. If you're at the repair order stage, it will read convert to invoice. If at the invoice stage, it will read pay and post where you process a payment or post as a charge and it is no longer on the order and work in progress screens. When parts catalogs are installed or configured, the appropriate buttons will appear in this area. Then it's just a matter of clicking on the catalog button and your customer's vehicle information is passed to the catalog to narrow the parts search to what's appropriate for that vehicle. Then the parts are copied back to the estimate or repair order being worked on. If at least one catalog is configured, this parts ordering button will be lit up and available. The View PO button allows quick access to check purchase orders created for this order. It is possible to review the PO or go right into receiving parts mode from here. Order Options provides an access to various functions that we'll cover in another upcoming clip. Detail is the same as double clicking on any line item or right clicking when that line is selected. Email converts this order into a PDF document to be attached to an email text to send to the email address on file for this customer. If no address is found to use, the program will display an entry box to enter one. It will be filed for the customer to use next time. Fax is available if you have configured a fax program in configurations, reports, and printers. Print will render the estimate or order to the screen with preview turned on or go straight to your printer device depending on your program's printer option settings. Exit returns to the work in progress screen. The running totals for the order appear at the bottom of the screen on two tracks. The initial estimate amount represents that which was first added and quoted for the approval. Parts and labor details can be changed right up until the point that the repair order is marked as printed and approved. Once that has happened, the estimate numbers will no longer move up or down with changes made after the RO is marked as printed and approved. The program will display a warning that you're about to exceed the estimate by however much you're adding. The new totals are expressed in the invoice row and differ from the estimate numbers. Depending on which invoice template is selected, those differences can appear on them. If you select a template with no revision data, then only the final numbers appear and there is nothing that requires your explanation. Refer to your local regulations as to which invoice templates you would be allowed to use.